everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our month ahead for October. So I'm gonna shuffle up the cards and we'll be right back and get started. So I broke this down into three major areas being earth changes, weather, things related to the earth. Uh, also on the health front with the pandemic, damn panic, damn panic. Um, and also with the political. So the cards for each of those areas, uh, I'll get into those right now. So first out with Earth, there's a lot going on with the Earth with volcanoes erupting. And I just heard a report a few hours ago that Kilauea is now erupting again over in Hawaii. So there's a lot going on between La Palma and there. Um, I also sense something uh, possibly volcanic again, but this time I saw something like up in Alaska or along the Aleutian Islands. It could be an earthquake, just something related to earth changes up that way. So I think there's some unrest going on. We may see a little bit more in terms of these volcanoes and things uh, still playing themselves out. I'm, I don't think they're going to be settling down too much so uh, we're gonna still see a little bit of activity in that regard. Um, also some storms, some tropical storms. Um, I, was, I was getting the sense, I was holding the globe, I have a little globe over here, and I was sensing something way out in the Atlantic kind of just spinning around, and so there's, there may be some tropical storms, possibly hurricanes, so just the normal stuff, but I think it's gonna be a little amped up um, the cards I had on that was the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and those are kind of difficult, challenging cards. So that's what leads me to think that that Earth changes are going to be kind of a big issue coming up in the month of October. Okay. All right, so next, um, on the health front, um, the cards on that were the Queen of Wands, the Judgment, and the Hierophant. And what I was getting with the, the picture with that is the that there is a type of energy coming in of wanting to... It's, it's clashing against the established order. And with that Judgment card, of course, Judgment can be about, you know, the, the, the artwork on that particular card are souls coming up out of the grave and ascending. And we may see some, some more people passing from what's been going on in the health realm. But the concerning part to me was seeing the Hierophant card sitting underneath it all. To me, it spoke of clamping down, let's see, what did I, I wrote down some things, consensus, cooperation, coercion, and control. So with that queen, I sense something coming in, kind of wanting to bring in some different changing energy, but a lot of people passing and then kind of a clamping down again of that control that everybody needs to just come under the same umbrella, everybody needs to conform and do what they're told kind of feeling. So um, unfortunately, that's what I'm seeing again, that that kind of energy playing itself out, continuing at least through this month of October. So next, with the political, got something different kind of coming in with that. I had the Queen of Wands, the, the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Now we have that queen, another queen coming in, and I sensed her coming in very prominently. So uh, probably we could even see a female or a woman coming out strong on the political front, uh, maybe coming into power or having something to do with bringing about some, something in the news. Um, anyway, there could be related to a woman. I think it's a woman coming into power. And it's not going to be a very happy thing um, with the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Those are kind of sad cards. Uh, the Three of Swords can even mean betrayal or something that kind of, um, 
I don't know if, if this ascension into power is going to be legitimate. Um, it feels contrived with this Three of Swords energy, that betrayal. Um, or at least maybe that's how people will see it. Um, so we may see that. And also that Eight of Cups. That's a card of sad change. So some sort of sad change is going to lead to a, I don't, I don't know if I want to use the word betrayal, but it's like a sad change leads to a ch another change and and there could be some woman involved in in coming to power or having some sort of authority given to her over a situation, okay? Um, now, I don't know if this is the United States or somewhere else, uh, but that's what I'm seeing, some type of woman influence, um, but not exactly a good, a good thing happening. It feels like there's a sad event related to it somehow. Okay. So next we have what are we learning, kind of what do we need to know. Um, again, I had the Queen of Swords coming out on that. Another strong female connection with the swords that's taking action. So I think we're going to be seeing some action being taken. And again, with that on the political, with the Queen of Wands coming out, that's also a card of taking action. So we're going to see something with um, either bringing in a more feminine energy or directly meaning a woman coming into power. Um, We're also going to see some, the, we had the Ace of Swords on the overall outcome again, taking action. So this is going to be a very active month in the political realm. Uh, earth changes are going to be big. Look for something again off the Alaska, possibly in the Aleutian Islands. So that's kind of what I see this month. Um, I think we're going to be seeing some more active earth stuff. The image I got in my mind was like, uh, it looked like a city, like a, like in like New York City. May not be exactly that place, but I saw in my mind's eyes something that looked like a large inner city. And this big cloud, this big like billowy, looked like a volcanic dust cloud coming in. And I could hear scuffling and it was like the streets were getting empty the streets were emptying out and I, I got a picture of boots like combat boots so i don't know if like um armed forces were coming in to move people out of the way i could sense people leaving the area or being told to leave the area and this like cloud kind of coming in so um we'll have to see how that plays out but other than that, that's kind of what I got for October. Um, I do think we're going to see some interesting things playing out in the earth as the energies are probably settling into the sand and soil and bubbling out. Um, but that's what I get. I do think the eruptions are going to continue and we're, we may even see some more action in that regard. So that's kind of what I see for October. Um, I hope you're all well, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.